Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview Billy Samoa Salibi, another brother from Lebanon. Hi Billy, how are you doing? Meher, thanks for having me, I'm doing great. Thank you for being here, Billy. Currently, Billy, Billy is in LA. And to tell more about Billy, uh, after leading global learning and development teams for the most disruptive companies in the world, tel Tesla, he decided to form his own company, Inside Media, where they produce broadcast media and learning experiences focused on the growth and development of individuals and business. So Billy, my first question for you is why you decided to leave Telsa? Because I believe like everyone would say, why you want to leave that big company and go make your own entrepreneur journey? Yeah, it's a great question. So I got into corporate by accident. I never intended to take the path into a corporate job. Mm -hmm. but when I got into corporate 10 years earlier, yeah. I didn't know what was in store. So I, I accidentally found myself in the renewable energy space. That led to me having some success, building teams, training teams. I got a lot of promotions. I moved up the corporate ladder. I was afforded the opportunity to lead yeah. national sales teams and then to lead um, teams for Solar City, mm -hmm. which was the company that Elon Musk's cousins founded. And so when Tesla bought Solar City, I had the opportunity to work for Tesla, as you mentioned, and leading teams for them, uh, you know, you got to pinch yourself. You got to say, wow, what's, how did this happen? Yeah. Where, where I'm now working for one of the most, you know, as you said, disruptive companies ever. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. honestly, I was, I was for a long time thinking, when will I leave corporate to do mm -hmm. my own thing? because I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I've always wanted to do my own business, but the time was never right. Mm -hmm. and so what happened for me is that I ended up getting a global position, which me meant that I had teams in APAC in Asia. I had teams in EMEA in Europe and Middle East. I had a team here in North America. And so my position was one in which Elon determined wasn't necessary. Oh. So, so what happened was uh, my boss reported to Elon. So I was mm -hmm. one layer removed from Elon. And so I knew when he had a, he had a conversation with her as they were doing a lot of layoffs. And I, and, and I had been part of probably eight layoffs before that, where I was the one making the decision who had wow. to go. Finally, the decision was made. I was one of those people, <laughs> which for me was, a, was an opportunity to take my entrepreneurial journey. So the timing came perfectly for you at that time. Yeah, I mean, well, I think perfectly is a, it's a good question. And I, I don't know if it came perfectly or not. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't change a thing, mm -hmm. but I'll tell you this, uh, Tesla was struggling at that point. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to leave when things are at a, a low point. I would have preferred to leave when things are at more of a high point, but uh, I can't go back and I can't change the way yeah. in which things happen because I believe that the, the universe has a very interesting way of making our life uh, the way that it is. And I, I, I'm a big believer in focusing on the things that we control. Now I could have stayed at Tesla and got another position, but I did believe that was the right time based on all the, the data that I had at that point in my career. So, but you also mentioned that you had that entrepreneurial uh, spirit in you. So, when the, when the time came and you were laid off, so how long it took you to make that transition from, you know, now what, what I need to do now, especially nowadays with COVID, a lot of people yeah. were laid off and they don't know what to do. Or they were in a one company for 20 years and now I need to figure out what am I going to do? So how did the process take you to create the company? It's a very good question. So it, it actually took a while. And the reason it took a while is when I left Tesla, I spent the first six months uh, really figuring out what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I was doing some day trading. I was just, I was, I was trying to figure out what my next move would be. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in September of 2019, I started my first podcast. That's when I fell in love with podcasting. Mm -hmm. And over the next year, I worked on that podcast and I got really active on LinkedIn. I started coaching people on how mm -hmm. to navigate LinkedIn, which led me to meet my business partner, Muhammad. 
And that's when we started Podify, which is the business we started. We just started in December of 2020. So I left Tesla in the beginning of 2019. I didn't start my business until the end of 2020. So I actually started the business in the middle of the pandemic. Pandemic, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, so it, it took a little while, but mm -hmm. as, as I'm sure you know, and as I'm sure your listener knows, it takes some time to really yeah. figure out what the right path is. And I think one of the things I should, I should share, because I think it's worth sharing is, I, I, on my desk, I have a turtle or a tortoise. And the mm -hmm. reason I have this is I believe that we often rush things in life. And, and, I, and I think that sometimes you have to go with urgency, but I think sometimes you need to be thoughtful about the direction you go so that you go in the right direction. I'm really happy, happy that I was thoughtful with the direction that I went and that I'm going the direction that I'm going right now with Podify. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Billy. As you mentioned, especially in, with pandemic happening, people people needed to figure out what they want, or some of them, because they had bills, they need to figure out transitional job or survival job. But I always feel that once you know your personal value and your calling, that will guide you. It might take some time, but it's better to land in a job or a place that you love doing and I'm not doing just survival jobs. Yes, 100%. I agree, I agree with you 100%. And the, the nice thing is I, I'd worked really hard for mm -hmm. a long time that afforded me the luxury yes. of having that time frame to figure out what my path would be. Not everybody has that. I recognize that, yeah. but I, but, I, but I do think that everyone has the ability to be thinking about what their next move will be. So my mm -hmm. advice is if you're in a corporate job that you're ready to leave, yeah. try to start thinking before you leave, what that path will look like. Play around with different ideas, different different paths that you can take so that when you do leave, you don't have to take a year, two years, three years to figure out that path. Start planning before you leave. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Billy. And for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Billy a couple of questions and I'm going to share them on a daily basis. So you'll be kind of a journey with us. You can like all the videos, some of them, share your ideas, share your thoughts. And tune in tomorrow for another great question with Billy.